Question number 31 with a star on it. In a chemical laboratory, one bottle contains 12 pints of acid and 18 pints of water. Another bottle contains 9 pints of acid and 3 pints of water. How many pints must be drawn from each bottle and combined to form a solution that is 7 pints of acid and 7 pints of water? Okay, let x be the number of pints in the 12 to 18 solution. Okay, so that's 12, 12 acid to 18 waters, right? And, and we can get a percent off of that, but I'm just going to leave it as a fraction, okay? And let's let the y be the number of pints of 9 to 3 solution. I'm going to leave it as a fraction or a ratio, whatever. Um, so we know that altogether the number of pints in this solution and the number of pints in the other solution have to add up to 14 pints. How do we know? Because we end up with uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, how many pints must be drawn from each bottle uh, combined to form a solution that is 7 pints acid and 7 pints water. Well, altogether that's 14 pints, right? So we know the x plus the y must make 14. Okay, we also know that the if x is the number of pints, um, the concentration of, of the acid is 12 to 18, 12 parts acid to 18 parts solution to water. So 12 to 18 times x, right? So it's like that's the percent. Let's see what that is as a percent. It's two thirds, which is like 66.7%, right? So 12 to 18 is 66.6 .6 repeating or 66.66667 percent okay and the other one is nine to three um which is 300 percent yeah so there we go so this is um 300 percent solution okay and we're trying to get it down to you know like a one-to-one -one solution or 100 percent solution okay so we have 67% solution, we have 300% solution, and we're trying to get it down to 100% solution. Right, so um, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simplify this. The 9 divided by 3 is, of course, 3. 12 18 reduces to 2 thirds. So we have 2 thirds x plus 3 y is equal to 14. Um, I want to get rid of this fraction because it's third, so I'm going to multiply everything by 3. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this side by 3. I'm going to multiply that side by 3. I also, sorry, over here, you may have noticed that. Um, what I did is I just got the y alone. Okay, so I'm multiplying everything by 3, and that's going to reduce this. I'm going to get rid of that fraction. So that's going to give us 2x. These 3s will cancel. Uh, plus 9y is equal to 42. And then I'm just going to take up here, I have y is equal to 14 minus x. I'm going to replace the y with... 14 minus x. So I have 2x plus 9 times 14 minus x is equal to 42. The 9 multiplies the 14, giving us 126. The 9 multiplies the negative x, giving us negative 9x. And the 2x and the negative 9x make negative 7x. So we have 126 minus 7x equals 42. I'm going to subtract 126 from both sides, giving us negative 7x is equal to negative 84. Dividing both sides by negative 7, we have x is equal to negative, sorry, by negative 7. We end up with x is equal to 12. Okay, so that tells us that we have 12 uh, pints of uh, 12 to 18 solution, and 14 take away 12 is 2, and 2 pints of 9 to 3 solution. Okay, so 12 pints must be drawn from the bottle containing 12 pints of 8 of. Uh, of acid and 18 pints of water, and two pints must be drawn from the bottle containing nine pints of acid and three pints of water. And that's it for question number 31. Have a good day.